Cisco speaks about their unified computing system as the data center of tomorrow. What key challenges are IT executives facing in the data center today that validate your new solution? First is the ever-increasing requirement to do more with less and to deploy new business services more quickly and more efficiently. The second key challenge is integrating, scaling, and managing this virtualized compute and network infrastructure. The third has to do with scale. Current architectures and the siloed systems are not designed to scale to the virtualization architectures of tomorrow. Next is the challenge of determining the right investment decisions. Business requirements are increasing, but IT budgets are not. Our customers need to be able to quickly scale and reallocate these resources when they are not being utilized. You talk about the Cisco Unified Computing System as doing three things. Unifying network, compute, and virtualization resources, simplifying everything from management to resource provisioning, and amplifying business opportunities and efficiencies. How did you develop the requirements for such a sweeping solution? The requirements for the unified computing systems were based on having in-depth conversation with customers a few years ago. And what we identified then was that the data center was becoming an incredibly complex operation to manage. There were different silos. The number of independent components that were operating within a single data center was exploding and beyond the realm of what was manageable by IT organization. At the same time, virtualization was entering as an IT strategy to basically help greatly simplify uh, the operation of the environment. We saw that as an opportunity to develop a platform specifically optimized for virtualization, specifically optimized to dramatically reduce the complexity of operation of the data center itself, which is what we're calling today Cisco's Unified Computing System. Why do you think that the Cisco Unified Computing System is going to get corporate executives excited? If you think about it, the data center is the digital nervous system of any business. And as a result of this market transition with data centers becoming more virtualized, it gives you the opportunity to have a more agile but also adaptable environment to deal with top-line growth as well as cost containment. As Cisco integrates new technologies into one system, providing an open industry standard approach would seem to be critical. How is Cisco addressing this issue? So it's a combination of these three standard components, unified fabric based on industry standards, an integrated management model based on industry standards, and standard compute nodes all tied together that allows customers to build a tightly integrated solution in their data center that allows them to deploy uh, dynamic, their resources dynamically and get the benefits of industry economics in the platform. This level of integration can improve the total cost of ownership model for customers, which is crucial in tight economic times. What type of financial efficiencies can customers expect by implementing a unified computing architecture? We all have to recognize that the language of business is money. And so with that in mind, we have consciously created some, some really empowering TCOs here. One that addresses a 20% total cost of ownership reduction in the area of facilities, which really has a 10 to 15 year capitalization cycle. So this is a very dramatic um, contribution to the bottom line. Secondarily, we're also looking at a 15 point reduction in the actual platform. So again, very competitive and actual good table stakes in being able to respond to data center virtualization. Last but not least, we also see this as an opportunity to allow companies to rethink their organizational models so that they're able to bring together more effective, efficient, and responsive IT organizations to address the just-in-time as opposed to just-in-case uh, provisioning models that IT has today. In today's economy, companies need business agility and the ability to scale in dramatic ways. How does Cisco's unified computing model enhance the ability for customers to scale their virtualized data center resources? Cisco's unified computing platform is designed and optimized for virtualization. It's specifically designed to make it operationally seamless and transparent for people to deploy virtualization on a large scale. It's also designed to allow customers to deploy virtualization with extremely high density by eliminating bottlenecks in the I.O. subsystem and in the memory subsystem. 
Clearly, this is an innovative approach to evolving the data center architecture. What strategy is Cisco embracing from a partner perspective to enable the unified computing solution? This is not a go-it-alone strategy. Our industry partners are critical to the delivery and support of this integrated architecture. Also, data center service providers are attracted to this unified computing vision as a means of creating new, flexible, and more secure data center services to ease data center management for their diverse set of customers. Cisco's data center partners traverse traditional technology boundaries within the data center, including adapter companies, server application companies, networking, storage, and virtualization partnerships. What impact will unified computing have in evolving the data center architecture? What we have here is a single system that's modular, that allows customers to simplify their environment and actually scale their environment without increasing complexity as a single system. Right? It changes the industry. In my mind, uh, the way I look at it is that this is as important for the industry as the personal computer was in the early 80s. Right? The personal computer changed computing at the home. What we're doing is we're changing data computing in the data center.